So for this topic in the news, I chose the specific standard of 2.8.1 second grade, understand patterns of weather and factors that affect weather. Uh, I chose this clarifying objective of summarizing weather conditions using qualitative and quantitative measures to describe temperature, wind directions, wind speed, and precipitation. For this specific topic in the news, I just decided to focus on temperature. And to measure temperature, we can look at thermometers. Here is a qualitative thermometer that shows very hot, hot, warm, cool, and cold, and it's color-coded cold, blue, hot, red. And over here we have numerical, which is quantitative measurements on a thermometer. So this is Antarctica. Um, it's melting. So located at the South Pole, it's melting. And when we hear of Antarctica, we like to think of cold, we like to think of penguins, polar bears, freezing temperatures, but it's not so cool anymore, pun intended. <laughs> um, so the white here is snow, and it's, it's getting smaller as we speak, but why? So hotter temperatures, so to use quantitative terms, it's 65 degrees in Antarctica. That's not okay because it's actually colder in Boone, North Carolina, than it is in Antarctica. Um, so this image here is provided by the NASA Earth Observatory. The darkest red areas up here shows temperatures, shows where temperatures exceeded 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and this just shows that small part of Eagle Island that is connected to Antarctica. Um, another science topic that relates to this topic are phase changes. So the solid ice caps are actually turning into liquid water because relating back to my standard temperature. Um, uh, according to the news article, glaciologists, which I didn't know existed, but they study glaciers. Um, Nichols College found that 0 0.9 square feet or 0 0.9 miles of snow became meltwater. So this is just over a short amount of days. So this is on February 4th and this is on February 13th. And up top we can see some melt ponds that are being, that are happening because of the hot weather. And not until this century Antarctica has experienced these temperatures. Um, so in February alone, the warm temperatures were caused by a ridge of high pressure centered over Cape Horn, which brought warmer temperatures. And I also learned about the Southern Hemisphere westerlies, and this is a band of strong winds that circle the continent to shield warm air, and they were actually in a weakened state during this time in February. And also, dry air and warmer winds also played a role in the rising of these temperatures. So what is the takeaway of this whole thing? Temperatures are rising in, in Antarctica, and my standard that is bolded on this website I have created directly correlates with this topic in the news. And I was left with three questions. What can we do to address this issue that is only getting worse? Are political leaders aware of the situation? If so, what are they doing to address it? And what other continents' locations are experiencing this similar issue?